hello viewers welcome to destined to win tutorials today we're going to be treating approximation now approximations are just used for reducing numbers into values that can be easily handled now we have different systems of approximation today we're going to be looking at the significant figure system and also the decimal place system we are looking at the decimal place system and significant figures system so we're going to take some examples to further understand these two systems approximation system example one it says approximate let's just abbreviate this approximate 65009.2692 to a one decimal place b one significant figure so here let's solve this a one decimal place now in in approximating decimal place this is what happens let's write this down two six nine we'll start counting from our decimal and since this is one decimal place we'll just count the figure one that is two then the next number after this particular one decimal place is the next number we will check if we can round up or round down that number now to round up that particular number the number has to start from five six seven eight nine that's when we can round up but if it falls between four three two one and one we run we round down so the answer for this is since this is six we can do what we can round up so in rounding up what we just do we add one to this particular figure figure and our answer would be 009.3 this is our answer to one decimal place now b to one significant figure so to convert this to one significant figure in significant figure we'll start from the first number we will not start from zero it must be from a first non-zero number so and i said let's convert this to one significant figure so we start from this six and what is the next number after six it's five definitely we can round up five so in rounding up five we we'll just add one to six and our answer is seven so we have seven zero 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 point zero 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 to one significant figure this is our answer we have another example here example two approximate three two point eight three four to a two decimal places b two significant figure so what do we have here a two decimal places so all we just need to do is to count from our decimal point and which is here count two that's one two now what's the next number after three four can we round up four no it is rounder so rounding down we'll just write a zero so our answer is 32.830 which would also be 32.83 that's two or two decimal place now b we have two looking for two rounding approximating this value to two significant figure here we'll count 
from our first number one two and what's our next number eight can we round up eight or round down eight round down eight we can round up eight so we just add one to two so what's our answer our answer is what thirty three point zero 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 that's two two significant figures this are answer let's do another example here for us to further understand and it says approximate 0 0.001658 to a 3 dp and b 3 significant figures for a 3 decimal place Let's write this down, 0001658. To convert this, we'll count from the decimal point. Remember, in decimal place, we'll count from the decimal point. So from here, we have 1, 2, 3. That's three decimal places. Now, what's the next number? Can, 6. Can we round up 6? Yes, we can round up 6. So we just add 1 to 1 here, which will make 2. So our answer is 0 0.002 to three decimal places b three significant figure we have to round up this to three significant figure remember i told you in significant figure we'll start from where we have a non-zero value which is one so let's count three so we have one two three now, what's the next number after these three places? Eight. Can we round up eight? Yes, we can. So, what's our final answer? It's 0 0.001663 to three significant figure. It's necessary we know our significant figure and decimal place system when preparing for an exam, especially WIEC, to help us because um, you get some questions. Uh, where your final, you, the, the examinator uh, says you should give your final answer in a particular significant figure on decimal places. Thank you for staying tuned. See you in our next video. Bye.